Welcome back to that dad guy. It is November the 20th, 2022. I was going to start the video showing you all the snow that was outside, but uh, it's all gone already. Uh, I woke up this morning, the ground was covered in uh, white snow. I thought, okay, so this is how the day is going to be. It's warmed up about an hour later and most of the snow is already melted. So uh, not quite winter here yet. And I'm dressed like this and I'm outside, so it's still kind of nice out. So let me show you the postcards that I'm picking to fill out today, to send out to um, registered people that are with Post Crossing and also some friend in swap mail. I thought with all the snow that uh, Buffalo area has been getting and Southern Ontario have been getting, that we probably would get a whole bunch more this way too. It hasn't materialized yet. We have had a couple days that we've had flurries and a couple mornings that have woken up and there's been snow on the ground, but it whether it either turns to rain or warms up a little bit and it's all gone. Uh, so, so far, fingers crossed, uh, no major snowstorms have happened here yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll get our turn before uh, winter is done. I mean, winter hasn't even started officially yet, but uh, it seems like, you know, we're here the end of November and uh, nothing really much has happened out there. I probably could get out there and start putting my Christmas lights on the house because it's nice mild temperature. So uh, that might happen soon too if the snow stays away and the temperatures remain mild, I might get up there and get that done. But like I said, today is about uh, post-crossing. So I want to show you the ones that I have. I actually have six official ones that I can send out. So I printed the addresses off for those. And I've got some uh, um, friend and swap ones, like I said, that are going out as well. You'll see there's kind of a, a theme with some of the ones that I've picked. It's that time of the year. So I got to use some of those. All right, before I get to that, let's get to the official ones. First one is going to Taiwan. He said uh, that she rides motorcycles, plays the blues on the electric guitar, enjoys water sports immensely, uh, studies maths and physics in university, uh, though currently a biomedical research technician. Her father is Taiwanese and her mother is from New Zealand. Uh, she's lived in France, San Francisco, Edinburgh, and um, things that she loves the most are postcards that have art, astronomy, and scenery, but you can send me anything you want. So I'm going to send her some scenery. So here we are. This is Harborhead Lighthouse here in New Brunswick. It's a prepaid card, so the postage is already on it. I have a few of those, and um, I'm going to send a few prepaid ones out right now. It's going to help me cut down on what I'm spending on postage because the postage is already paid there. So I don't have to use up as many of my other stamps in the collection right now. And I always love using those ones to send them internationally. Um, this particular person didn't ask anything about stamps or that they love stamps. So it doesn't really matter that there's not a real stamp on it. So that is what I'm going to do. All right. So the next one is going to Germany. Surprise. And it says... Her name is Catherine. She lives in a small village in the southwest part of Germany. She has a dog. Her hobbies are reading books, baking, cross-stitch, embroidery, puzzles, and traveling. Please no postcards about meetups. She, things she does like are city views, maps, dogs, horses, greetings from, uh, recipe cards, cross-stitch, Christmas cards in November and December, amusement theme, and zoos. And please make sure you put the date on it. Well, I always put the date on it, so not a problem there. She says she likes dogs, so we have this beautiful Newfoundland dog postcard. It is another prepaid card. So I'm making well use of my prepaid cards that I have in my collection. And I'm kind of hoping that I can thin out the collection a little bit. It's nice having lots of uh, cards to choose from, but um, I find sometimes the, the newest cards that I get are the first cards to go back out again. So I want to make sure that I don't forget about some of my older cards. All right. The third official one I have is going to the Netherlands. Um, she starts by talking about how some people on post crossing are uh, being very anti-Russian. And uh, I also am in agreement in this that it's not the people of Russia's fault. It's a political system. So it, as much as we are supporting the Ukraine, um, that's not bad bash anyone from the from Russia please um, and uh, post crossing shouldn't be all political it should be about uh, the cards and creating friendships and uh, building a bond worldwide so hopefully that's what we are doing so I want to continue on and she says hello snail ma mailers um, she says she's a bird lover she loves foxes and bird cards they make her day so if you have them send them 
Um, she also enjoyed self-made cards or multi-views, but uh, she doesn't want any Christmas cards. She doesn't celebrate Christmas. She um, has led, led a nomadic life, which is really cool. Loves traveling, finally settling down in a senior's apartment right now. Um, she is a retired nurse and uh, she has a daughter who is 36 years old who is teaching and uh, most recently in Vietnam. So that is amazing. Uh, she loves plants. She has a green thumb and uh, not literally has a thumb that's green, but uh, in the English language, if you have a, if you say you have a green thumb, it means you're really good with plants. Just figured I'd explain that because some of the people that do watch um, aren't as uh, familiar with our English language and some of the uh, words that we use to describe other things so that might have come across really strange and it just hit me as I said it now that uh, um, when you talk about um, having a green thumb someone someone might have said that or uh, interpreted that literally so I wanted to explain that and then uh, she goes on and says all the countries that she's traveled to or lived in and it sounds like she's led a very exciting life but I figured I go right back to the very first line she says she likes foxes I have this uh, Prince Edward Island red fox card. So I figure that's probably best to go off to her. There are some other categories I probably could have done as well, but that seemed appropriate. That particular card I had been saving for a certain person along the way. Um, but as soon as I read hers, it felt like it needed to go to her rather than who I was saving it for. So I'm sure the person I was saving it for, I will find something else. All right, the next one that I have is going to the United Kingdom. And uh, she says she lives in a small village of Cornwall in the southwest tip of England that juts out into the Atlantic. Uh, has wonderful beaches and coastlines. You're never far from the sea here. And you can see the Cornish coastline in the background of her avatar. She's a retired teacher, married two adult sons. One lives in the Bahamas, the other in London. She has a grandson that also lives in the Bahamas. And uh, now since she's retired, she enjoys... Uh, doing some volunteer work. Uh, she loves hiking, doing puzzles. She's even done some trekking in the Himalayas near Mount Everest. Saw it, but didn't climb it. That's pretty cool. Um, so she says she might get ideas about her favorites from her wall, but she uh, is happy to get whatever she sent, we sends. So I'm gonna send her this one here. This is the Carlton Martello Tower in St. John. And um, she likes trekking and hiking and history and all that. I figured this might be a nice card for her. She also says, when you write up your cards, tell me about the image on the card. So I will do that for her. Okay. The next card I have is going to France. And it's going to an 11-year-old girl. Uh, she writes in France that she, uh, uh, where she lives in her village. And uh, that her father is a farmer. And that her mother works uh, in the car fabrication uh, for ecological kits. Uh... So she also goes to a, uh, well, about the size of her school. She's a big fan of geocaching, as so many other post-crossers are. She does that with her family. She uh, says she'd be happy to get any types of card, but for some inspiration, some of the cards that she likes are uh, the sunset cards or the city where you live, um, traditions from your country, people from your country, uh, Christmas cards in November and December, uh, humorous cards, animals, mountains, beaches, and uh, tourist sites. Um, so yeah, so she went with animals. So I thought this cute prepaid card of a raccoon, uh, it says Ontario on the bottom here in Canada. I know I'm in New Brunswick, but I think it will apply just the same. Uh, it looks like it's a very kid-friendly card. It's an animal card. And uh, so hopefully she'll enjoy that. The last official card I have going out is going to Norway. So. I got six officials that I could send out today and all of them were from different countries. So I really enjoy that, that I can spread it around a bit. Uh, she says she is a 41 year old who likes all kinds of postcards from all different places. She enjoys reading, listening to music, going to the cinema, nature, geocaching, pen palling, uh, the sea, watching TV series, traveling, history, um, post hunting, and of course, post crossing. What is post hunting? I don't know what that is. Does that mean you're looking for mail? Uh, does it have nothing to do with mail and is more about um, hunting? I'm not sure. If you know what post hunting is, maybe it's another group like post crossing. Um, so that's possible too. Let me know in the comments below if you know what post hunting is. 
Uh, she likes drinking tea. Her favorites are black, green, and fruit tea, but also like cinnamon and apple. And then uh, postcards that she likes are animals that have squirrels, pandas, uh, whales, bears, foxes, elephants. Uh, it says dash. I'm not sure what a dash is either. Uh, Volkswagen, Volkswagen vans, illustrations, black and white cards, oceans, waterfalls, movies, series, Star Wars cards, Outlander cards, Bumblebee from the Transformer, nature, forest, trees, vintage, teas, city views, moles, um, which is a cartoon, uh, and other Czech cartoons, Beatrix Potter, Moonman, bicycles, bikes, flags of the world, Max, uh, Max cards, Post boxes, old train cards, Civil War, World War One and Two, and meetup cards, and then goes on to uh, talk about collections of states that she's missing as well. So very nice. She says uh, she likes to have it written and stamped. So this time I'm not sending a prepaid card out because they specifically said that they wanted stamps. But they asked about the Civil War, and I happen to have this card, the blue and the gray that was sent to me. Um, it talks about the Civil War on the back the dates of the Civil War. Um, civil War in the United States we're talking about because Canada never had a Civil War. So I always wondered when I got this card who I'd send it to. Because most people like to get cards from the region where you're sending them from. Some people don't. But this one specifically had it in her list that uh, in Norway she was interested in cards of the Civil War of the United States. So I'm going to send her a card of the Civil War of the United States and uh, hopefully she enjoys it that goes through in my collection takes another card that i've had for some time and i guess it was a card meant to go to her so that's perfect all right now let me show you some of the cards that i'm sending out to friends and swaps this first one says journeyman one cannot travel into the future and it is a winter wonderland card with us having had our uh, first taste of snow thought it might be nice to start sending out some cards that had snow theme to them or maybe a Christmas theme to them. Uh, some cards take longer than others to get to where they want to go so I think this is the time of the year if you have Christmas cards you really should start sending them out especially if you're sending them overseas. I know uh, some local ones it won't take very long to get there so here's a Christmas card that I have to go out. Here's another Christmas card I had to go out. These Christmas cards I've had for over a year and in my collection. There's only one time of the year that you can really send a Christmas card. And uh, so I'm going with the theme and I'm getting rid of the Christmas cards that I have in my collection now. And not because they're bad cards, but because I want to make sure that they get to the destinations before Christmas. And I want to use them now so I'm not hanging on to them for another full year. This one says, in the blank white, I found my own way, and it's a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments. And these are actually kind of raised a bit, so you can feel the ornaments there, or the, the images. This one says, won't you please bring my baby to me? I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, it has no bearing on who I'm sending it to, but uh, I just like the, the ornaments and the candles that are actually in the tree. I know they're, they're just light candles, not real candles, of course. That would be very dangerous. I'm also sending this Canadian Rockies card out. And you can see the snow on the caps. And uh, even in the summertime, when you go to the Canadian Rockies, you're going to see mountains that are so high that still have snow that stays on them all year round. And here's a card from Montreal. Montreal had their first snowfall uh, just recently too. So my daughter reached out to me, let me know that they had had snow and that uh, some of her friends that have never seen snow before that are going to university with her were very excited. So it's nice to be able to share that excitement um, and her to have those experiences with them as well. And here's another one, dog sledding in the snow. As you can see, I kind of had a theme. I had a theme of prepaid cards going overseas. I had a theme for uh, Christmas and winter as well. And this one here of snowy roads in Montreal. They didn't get this much snow in their last snowfall or their first snowfall of the season. And the final card I'm sending out is this one here, Canadian flag. You can take that as uh, I'm from Canada, so I'm sending a Canadian flag. Uh, yep, there's that. Uh, maybe like uh, some of you out there are getting excited about the World Cup and you're cheering on your, your country's Canada is in the World Cup this year for only the second time. 
Uh, we've never won a game. We've never even scored a goal in the World Cup, apparently. So uh, maybe this is the year to uh, to get both of those. Who knows? I'm not a huge football slash soccer follower, so um, I don't even know how many of these games that I'll actually watch. But I'll certainly pay attention when they get give up the results of uh, Canada, how they did. Uh, I'm curious to see how they do uh, as far as uh, who wins the whole thing. It really doesn't matter to me. I know there are many out there that uh, do. And uh, being in North America, it's not a sport that is super popular here, but it is gaining in popularity. So there are more and more people that uh, do care about it. So that's great. So yeah, so I have all those cards to do, to send up, to get ready to go out. And I will, and I've got all my Christmas washi and uh, Christmas stickers. So I'm going to start decorating some of these Christmas cards with the appropriate Christmas decorations. And maybe you're doing the same thing now. We're into the end of the November. We have basically a month to get these cards to their destination to make them there for Christmas. And uh, sometimes you need that full month to get the mail there. I know uh, as a mail carrier, uh, it is starting to get busier, reading lots more parcels. Um, it's a Sunday today. I'm actually going to go into work and uh, yeah, get some things ready. Mondays are going to be busy, and then days after that will get busy too. Um, this is the time of year when uh, we work longer hours, uh, it's, it's tougher on us, and uh, it all evens out on the summer months when it's not as tough. So this is the time i got to work, this is the time i got to grow my beard to keep me warm uh, while I'm outside, and I'll do that just that. So you guys, have a magical week. Like follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.